How's it going, YouTube? This is Silky speaking. I hope you guys are well. This video is going to talk about scale freaks, scale craze, meaning those particular people who just can't go a day without hopping on the scale and seeing how much their weight actually is, even though they know perfectly well that weight can't change overnight. Weight changes over a matter of weeks, months, and even years, if necessary. I have to admit first that nowadays I have myself become a scale freak to such an extent that fluctuations are just making me frustrated. I mean, I'm bloating up. Face, feet, hands, the whole enchilada. So I had to pick up my scale and put it in the garage, away from my reach. Watch. Because it was just basically driving me crazy. And even though I've said in many of my videos that don't go by the scale again and again, I'm not following it and I'm sorry. And I truly apologize. I guess all I want to say is that don't feel discouraged if you get bloated, even if you haven't done necessarily anything wrong. That's basically the body seeing that it's in trouble. The body technically wasn't meant to for weight loss. It's technically meant for survival. Unless if you're talking about women in pregnancy, but that's a different issue. When the body notices a lot of weight being lost, it tends to hold on to the excess fat or even water if necessary, whatever is available to hold on to. Basically, your body is in, in self, not self-destruct, um, self-protection mechanism. That should go away within a few days or so, so don't take it to heart, even though I must admit I'm feeling really <coughs> upset about it and I wish it would go away. And I kind of wish my son would stop being a brat. Anyway, the best thing for you to do is basically go on and do what is you're doing. Continue your exercise. Um, if it's like a plateau, for example, me, I've cut out eating all bread for a week. No bread for a week. And I'm increasing my water intake. This is the actual cup I use. The last video I showed a red cup, but that was only an example. And um, basically how you would beat a plateau is probably the same way how you would bleed a flotation. Even though there are pills that you can take to flush out water, but I kind of see those as kind of pointless because the minute you start eating or drinking, no matter how small it might be, your waist is going to come right back up. So it's best to just use the old-fashioned water method. Some people also say mixing a bit of lemon and hot water helps with, your, with melting of fat. But other people say that using lemon and cold water helps with fat, reducing of fat. Some people believe cold water increases metabolism, while others believe that it doesn't. I guess the only thing I can say is do whatever suits you better. But bottom line is please put the scale out of your reach. Look at squirrel. Look at squirrel. Yes, Beta, it is a squirrel. There's a squirrel in the yard, and my son is going nussy. Hi, squirrel! Good morning. It's evening, you twit. Anyway, if you're a type of person who doesn't really mind the scale and doesn't go crazy about it, by all means, keep it close by. But if you're like me, who just goes, when you happen to see a scale, put the scale out of your reach. Other than that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Don't give up keep going and most people who fail on their diet regimen are fail because of either they lacked patience or they lost hope the worst thing you could do is become as we say in the quran my use feeling that you've lost hope don't be my use and don't lose hope because remember beta put the fan down i mean the blind down whatever god does he does for a reason Anyhow, this is basically all I wanted to say. To all you scale freaks out there, put the scale out of your reach and don't look at it again for another week. Thank you. God bless.